Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be talking about degrees and angles. And when you start getting into geometry, one of the main things that you need to know about are degrees and angles because you use them in everything. So the first thing you need to know about degrees is in a circle there are 360 degrees in a circle. It's one full rotation. So a lot of times if you hear someone does a 720 trick, that's 362 times. So they did two full rotations. And a lot of times you'll hear about a right triangle. And a right triangle is 90 degrees. And it's because if a full circle is 360, a right triangle, there's four right triangles in a circle. And 360 divided by 4 is 90. So when you see a right triangle, it's actually just one-fourth of a circle. Now if you see half of a circle, two right triangles together, it's 180 degrees. So if you see a straight line and they ask you what's the angle or degrees, it's going to be 180 degrees. And that's very important to know because you're going to use this a lot. Another thing you also want to know is in a triangle, it doesn't matter what the triangle is, this is a right triangle. You can have different types of triangles. Let me draw a little bit better here. It does not matter your triangle. All the angles in the triangle will add up to 180 degrees. So in this right triangle, we know this is, this is 90 degrees. So let's say we're given 60 degrees up here. We know that since all the angles add up to 180, that this one, we have 180 minus 90, which is our right angle, equals 90, minus 60, which is given up here, equals 30. So this angle right here, if we're asked for it, is 30 degrees. It's very important to know, even if it's not a right angle, a right triangle, all the angles in a triangle will add up to 180 degrees. So if you're given two of them to find the other one, all you have to do is subtract those two degrees from 180 and that will give you your answer. That's very important to know. The other thing you need to know is the names of different angles. And they're given names. We already went over a right angle. So let me see if I can draw a little bit straighter. But a right angle is 90 degrees. If it's less than 90 degrees, I'll draw one here, and this could be 25, 30, doesn't matter. If it's less than 90 degrees, it's called an acute angle. So anytime if you're asked to find, if they give you lots of drawings and they say find the angle that's an acute angle, it's going to be the one that's smaller than 90. So from 0 to 90 it's going to be an acute angle. Now we talked about the right triangle. If it's greater than 90, as you can see here it actually comes out a little bit, if it's greater than 90 but it's not quite a straight line all the way, this is called an obtuse angle. So obtuse angle. So again, if they ask you to find the obtuse angle, it's going to be a little bit above this way, farther than the right angle. Now, the next one you'll see is a straight line, and this is just a straight angle. It's 180 degrees, and that's pretty. this is the easiest one that you'll see, is the straight. And then beyond that, you may see this, and they may ask you for this angle. As you can see, it goes past the straight line, which is a straight angle. And if it goes past, anything above 180 is going to be a reflex angle. So anything that you're given, if you're given a right triangle, this is a right triangle, so this is 90 degrees, and the other degrees is going to be a reflex angle. There's always going to be a reflex angle. It doesn't matter what it is. It all depends on what they ask for. So if in this case, if they don't ask for this, the angle outside of this, 
if they just ask for the 90, you don't have to worry about it. But if they give you an acute angle right here, let's say 30 degrees, and they say, what's the reflex angle? Well, the reflex angle is this entire degree all the way around. And since we know that an entire circle is 360, the reflex angle of this would be 360 minus 30. So we already have our acute angle of 30 degrees, and our reflex angle of this is 330 degrees. So it doesn't matter. You're always going to have a reflex angle. So this is just a little bit about degrees and angles. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out mathworld.com to try out degrees and angles on your own to make sure you completely understand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.